So your moment came by visiting another country for help. Why is that still the case where people feel that they have to leave the country in order to get the help that they need? Well, you know, philosophically, I've been asking myself this question for many years. If we need to examine the history of medicine, I have gone back 3,000 years in the literature search about what has happened. In as early documented history, as early as 20, well, about 400 BC, about 2,500 years ago, it was a doctor, Athens at that time was what the U.S. is today as an empire. And uh, so it was a Dr. Zymos at the peak of the Athenian civilization, which they were known for their leniency. Dr. Zymos was practicing something like medicine. Unfortunately, he had to leave Athens to go to Egypt to continue his, his, his trade. So this goes back to 2,500 years. And you say, why? And, and, and I rationalize why. Uh, to become a doctor, you, you have to dedicate your, your life to it. Uh, you put roughly on the average of 10 to 15 years of intense, uh, you know, uh, education. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in medical school, I used to read 15 hours a day, seven days a week throughout medical school and throughout residency. And you go to your residency, then you work at that time, a minimum was 120 hours a week working, and then 160, 168 hours a week. And really you got two days or 48 hours to, to sleep and to take showers and everything else. You gotta work the rest of the time. And when you have that kind of intense program for five plus years, then you get out and you, th and you know a lot. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. And then of course, you have the feeling, my God, I, I, I dedicated 15 years of my life. I know what I'm talking about. And I'm not gonna have somebody who is a nutritionist or a naturopath or somebody that went to school for six, seven, eight years and you went to school for 15 years, you know, you know better, you know best. And, and so there's nothing wrong with Western medicine. They just don't have enough information. In my opinion, they're missing information. The good people, the, the great, great researchers, uh, great facilities, fabulous hospitals. I mean, as a Western medicine doctor, I mean, I'm a surgeon, and I feel I had reached the, the peak of my knowledge in my career. I'm very happy about it. And then you say, why do you change to alternative medicine? Well, you know, there are plenty of surgeons out there. There are not too many alternative medicine doctors. And to be an alternative medicine doctor, several things have to happen. First of all, you, you know you're gonna be ostracized by your, your, your colleagues. That's, that's a big trauma. And you know you're gonna take a huge pay cut, which is another problem, and of course, you kind of have to make up your mind which is more important. To me, uh, I mean, money is not that important, never was, and maybe that's why I chose this field.